I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can't do. Love you down. Anyway, I am currently on my way to European Wax Center to get a wax. My first time getting waxed in DC. And they taxing over here. If I have to go to Maryland to get a wax, so be it. All kinds of new locations in this vlog. I'm loving it. Like, loving getting out of the freaking kitchen. It was really painful for me to edit my last vlog and everything just being in the um, kitchen. Like, I need to spice it up for y'all. So, right now we're in my closet because I have to clean this closet. It looks a mess. I'm even afraid to show y'all. I do want to do, like, a final, like, closet reveal and, like, revamp of everything. Like, I want to I want to put my sunglasses up here. I want to get, like, little boot, um, boot organizers. I really need a boot organizer. I have to declutter my makeup. And I also want to get, like, either dividers for these clothes up here, which I think is completely unnecessary. Or get the little bins that go underneath the underneath my clothes i think that would be helpful even though i literally have you guys are literally sitting on a dresser so i either have to organize this stuff better hang some stuff up get rid of some things because like this is just not practical that's the mission for today clear out my closet figure out what i need to do like what are some organizing solutions i need to get this place right so let's turn on the tunes. I'll show y'all what I'm doing. Let me ask the audience. <laughs> do y'all want me to save all my closet content or do you want me to include it in like weekly vlogs? Let me know down below. But for now, let's tackle this horrendous mess. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. And I also want to build like a shelf system here too. So like my vision is to like put a little desk thing on top here mount this light somewhere so that way the light is above it or put it on the side of the mirror like i used to have before have the mirror on the desk too <sighs> so i also like want to get that stuff done like then i have all these like boots down here that like boots and like shoes that are just too tall to fit on this shoe rack anyway let's do this good progress so far I'm just gonna put things away the best way that I can for now and I think now that I have like a better idea of what I want to organize and separate and stuff um I can start like shopping for the things I actually need this is my first time ordering uber eats and ugh. <laughs> this is supposed to be garlic bread but it looks like a hot mess DC is obsessed with like bowls like i don't know what it is about dc but i'm gonna come back after i eat then we'll close out today and i'll start again to vlog my sugar plum honey dumpling zoe sauce got me something and i picked it up today so let's open it i just got back from work hence why i look like i've been through it heck what the heck is this what is this what is this No. Wait, no note. No note. 
y'all, if you literally watch my last vlog, you would know I said I want this. I'm just saying I want this dispenser. And I just got it! <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm probably gonna cry. Actually, madness, because Zoya didn't even have my registry or nothing. I'm about to set this up right now. Hold on. Love feeling seen. Like, like truly seen. Like, now I'm gonna cry. Let's set it up. Let's set it up. Look at that. It just already looks so aesthetic. <laughs> I am geeking. I'm geeking over this. I'm literally raving Elise. My own, my very own dispenser. Like, ah! oh, let's do it again. <laughs> Hold on. This is like a very cool gift. I'm so grateful. Like, thank you so much, Loya. Hello, everyone. We are going to a lot of places. Like, we're actually going outside today. We're gonna go to Home Goods, Target, uh, the liquor store, and I feel like I'm missing a place. We're just going to a plethora of stores. Some Valentine's themed things tonight. I'm gonna make a Valentine's themed drink. And I'm gonna make some Valentine's Day cupcakes. Um, so I need to get stuff to make those things. I'm gonna make a strawberry espresso, strawberry espresso martini, and then I'm going to make strawberry shortcake cupcakes. I also need to get some food, like some regular, regular food. So I need to go to the grocery store. I need to get like dish detergent and um, laundry detergent and silly things like that. So let's go. Got a wax. So I. Tested out the wax waters here. I don't know. I might have to change up my waxer. Uh, that's just me being honest. But let's go. Let's get comfortable with filming in public because that's what I'm going to have to do. Everything is so pink and cute. I love Valentine's Day. look actually crazier than when I left. Like I got into a fight or something. I did some damage. Let me show you guys what I got. So from Target, I got baking cupcake um, thingamabobbers, a mixing bowl, coffee beans for my strawberry espresso martini. I didn't get everything I wanted to get for making the drink. So I'm just gonna do that when I come back from New York. So I'll for sure do it on Monday, but I don't think I'm gonna do it on. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do it today. It's literally, what time is it? It's already nine o'clock. Like I got a little carried away with like my retail therapy today. Like I left at seven and I'm just not getting back. I got this white trash can, a fully white trash can. I don't know what it is trash can companies have about making something fully one color. Like, it was hard to find a, a stainless steel trash can that was fully stainless steel. It just had to have like a black trim of something. And all the white trash cans, same thing. Everything had to have like a black trim or stainless steel or a, a, a bamboo uh, step push thingy. But this one, plain Jane. I don't know why she put um, my cups and stuff in here, but... I really wanted these, and these were in my initial my cart initially before I moved. Like some things I wanted, I was gonna use for the bathroom. These are so cute. I'm gonna see how they look next to the sink, and if I like them, I'm keeping them both. And then I'm gonna probably, I don't know how I'm gonna label them, but I have to label them like really discreetly because I kind of like the plain look. But I got two of them. I got the little shaker thing for the espresso martini, but I kind of want a set from TJ Maxx. I got. Uh, cutting boards. I got measuring cups. I got snack clips. I got funfetti icing, and then I got strawberry cake. Let me put all this stuff away. And then I don't care what you do, the best things 
Hey, this is the final meal. First by Bestie. Yeah, it's like I'm starting to wonder if it's anything I can't do. But for show your real. And then this day here. I'll see y'all tomorrow on my travels to the city. week I got my coffee my film camera my bag is full doesn't nothing fits in my bag I had to literally squeeze everything in it I'm on my way I'm gonna take you out with me let's go this feels like giving you the rundown on my fashion week experience so first things first I think that was the most unique experience that I've ever had and I cannot wait to have more of them that was really so fun like even though I only went to one show it was really a good time so let me tell you what happened so I got there and they asked me about my like seating arrangement and I just showed them the email that I got from my friend Jeff so shout out to Jeff for even getting me into the show wait in two lines um one line to get into like the little freight elevator that took you all the way to the top of like the the rooftop where the fashion show was i think a lot of the fashion shows were in that building because um it had different dates for like all the different shows i think i showed that in like the clips or whatever but got to like the top floor it was like such an experience everyone's going to their seats and jeff found me a seat and the seat that I had was literally across from a whole bunch of influencers. Like I even saw Maya the Dawn, like Miss Telfy, like I should have introduced myself. Like I was in the space, like I should have just took advantage. In that moment, I felt like, wow, like this is really where I belong. Like I need to like continue to put myself in positions where I'm in this kind of predicament. Like where I'm sitting across from a bunch of people I follow and I respect and that I've been following for years. Like that is like, that's every bit of me. That's every bit of me so it was a really cool experience like we went in the second line to get into the place and they were like the house is open and i'm guessing that's like how you say like the fashion show is starting or like get to your seats or whatever um but yeah it was a really cool experience this is just like i said before first of many like i feel like i am gonna be i'm gonna change my life if anyone gonna change my life it's gonna be me and i have to like use this as momentum like to an inspiration to keep going to the places where i want to go so that way like this thing is not like a once in a lifetime kind of thing it's like something that is like a reoccurrence but had a blast and that's all i had to say just wanted to hop in and share my experience because i didn't get to vlog that much that day because it was hectic um doing my makeup in the car um rushing to get to new york city like it was just a mess it was a mess so but made it anyway and i had a blast but let's get on with the vlog whoa i look <sighs> hello vlog i'm back in dc um post new york city fashion week my god i'm about to get my nails done please take a look at how horrendous these look i don't think this one's that bad this one's worse look at this yeah this like at first i was like oh maybe i could go with the like little painted nails no i cannot because these are chipping this is day two day two so i'm on my way to get my nails done now the girl that is doing my nails she said that i can come early so that's what i'm about to do i literally just got home from work but i'm about to go there now the quicker i can get this done the better i'm seasoning some chicken right now and i'm gonna make um parmesan crusted Chicken. I really need to start like a cooking series on here because I be throwing down. I be throwing down. I mean, let's go get these horrendous nails done. Lovely. Yes. That is so fancy. You know, you know what? 
It's these, it's these trifles <laughs> from the table. It's like, come on, get them there. I used to think about how you be that when a nigga got money now. Delicious. Cause if you can't go to Bella Noche's, 
Perfect freaking heart. Wow. Like, yes. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this semi chaotic cook with me for the first time, like full on shebang. Let me finish icing these cupcakes and then I'll show you guys the finished display of all of my goodies. <laughs> After having one of the worst weeks possible and looking forward to getting my hair done. I booked an appointment. I was like, you know what? I'm not having a great week. And you know, let me get my hair done and I'll feel a little bit better. Cause you know, getting hair done is like therapy. <sighs> I booked an appointment yesterday and I booked an appointment for yesterday. The girl moved it to today at 1.30. It's 1.19, I'm on my way there. And she texts me saying, can you come at four? Mind you, I'm on my way there. Like I'm literally on my way there. I said, no, I cannot do that. <laughs> I'm already on my way and I have other things to do at 7 p.m. So I cannot come at four. And then she said, oh, well, I'm gonna be an hour or two. I say, which one is it? Is it gonna be an hour or is it gonna be two hours? Because you need to tell me like which one it is. And then after like, we were about to do the back and forth thing. And I was like, actually, can you just send me my deposit back? Because this is, very unprofessional and this is a major inconvenience to me like just sending my money back so that's why i'm coming to you looking a hot mess i really did not want to straighten my hair again like i feel like i am damaging my hair but i literally have no choice and back at it again with these service providers that like are so unprofessional like they let anybody get a flat iron in their hand and braid something down and sew something in and now we have to suffer we had to suffer. Like, long gone are the days where you book an appointment and that's that. It gotta be you book an appointment. Oh, hey, boo, sorry, I gotta move your appointment. Oh, hey, boo, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be 30 minutes late. Oh, hey, boo, I'm sorry, I can't do your hair today because something came up. Like, you can never book an appointment these days and go to your appointment, sit down in that chair and get what you paid for. Like, it's just not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. So, I'm gonna do my own hair and I got myself a smoothie and I also went shopping. I went to Marshall's. Honestly, I feel so I feel so inconvenienced and just like that's the straw that broke the camel's back. Like it's like I wanna cry so bad, but I'm not going to because that's not gonna help. <laughs> I got a six-piece mixing bowl set. Um, and it comes with lids, so that's really, really nice. So if I want to like marinate chicken or whatever the case may be, I can do it in this. Last time I got mixing bowls from Target, it was like a cheapy cheap, like $5 one. But this one is nice and it's gray, it goes with my theme. I got these um, oil and vinegar dispensers. I'm gonna put them right here next to the salt and pepper. Look how cute that is. Obviously I need to like take the things off, but yeah like something like that is that cute or is that like cluttered i don't know let me know in the comments <laughs> i also got a cute small like pasta strainer because i do need one and i make pasta a lot and then the last thing i got i really needed this this is i really needed this the laneige sleeping mask i when I tell you, I scraped the bottom of the last one I had, like that one is done, like it's finished. And it's because I leave these at home, like I do not take these with me nowhere, like it's these stay home. And I kinda should've got a second one to like put in my actual bag, but you know when you transport lip products, they go missing, they tend to go missing. Yeah, tonight I was invited to a trivia night after I posted about like me, my first time going out um, in DC on TikTok. Someone commented under my video and said that they were having one and that they would like me to come. So I'm going to that tonight um, with Madison and I'm really excited. And I'll come back to y'all when my hair is done. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my life. I just, sometimes th things don't work out. And honestly, maybe that's for the best. Shit, that's the theme of this week. <laughs> okay, hair and makeup is done. Let's do this final reveal of the curls. Woo! I'm doing good on time. Whoa, these curls are a little flat. 
Okay, this one eating. <laughs> that one eats. Um. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a little bit curlier, but it's okay. It's like a little loose curl, I guess. <laughs> Do I even have a choice? I have to go soon. And I'm gonna brush it out in a second. Okay. Well. Well, what do we think? I'm gonna comment properly and things, but I think she's giving nice blowout. Hollywood glam. Baddie. Are you done? She's eating. Eating. Eatery, 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 eatery. Who needs a hairstylist? Who needs them? Who needs them? With their stupid booking sites and policies and things. Oh. All right, let me get dressed and then I'll show you guys my fit and then I'm gonna head out. Not much, but it's some. Um, so, just got on this leather jacket, this top from Fashion Nova. I think the pants are from Fashion Nova too. And then boots are from Shein. But really calm, like not really a lot. But the face is beat, the hair is laid, so I don't even care. conversation but her beauty can make you lose your breath like fatiguing she was real in the generation that rarely believed in prayer she was a blessing she was expressive so no need to ask why she's expressing she was herself on purpose she didn't play girlfriend she served a purpose they be on the chat GPT we as creators must continue to think it produce it and then tweak it so we can appraise our own work and increase the value of our poetic network. Still feel it with you, still listen. If I say fuck love, I'd rather flirt with it. Mm. They lie more than they tell the truth these days because it hurts different. Mm. It's like the worst feeling. And besides, you can't finish. Hey vlog, today is Monday, but today is a holiday. President's Day. I don't even know how real of a holiday that is, but it got me a day off of work, so we ain't complaining. Today I'm going to be going to Trader Joe's in the supermarket. I need groceries real bad. Like, first of all, I need to throw these cupcakes away, but my fridge is empty. Like, literally, there's no food in here. There's barely even any food in Like, this is just a mess. Our mission today will be to get some food get some things to cook i want to like try some new recipes next week um well this week because today is monday i want to try some new recipes like i want to do crab cake biscuits i want to do this um alfredo like lasagna roll thing i saw i think i'm gonna end the vlog today after all the um all of that hoopla and start over because next week is a new week so we're going to New York City to go to a concert so that's gonna be exciting so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the fun but we do have to eat like we do have to get food but i think that this vlog had a lot like i had fashion week in this vlog i had i had some good stuff in here so hope you guys enjoyed and i need to figure out a way to set up my camera in my car because i've been wanting to vlog in my car but i usually can't because i have a car tripod i'd be nothing without this really but let's go home a little change in plans i have on some workout gear because i was out um grocery shopping i got a notification from class pass that 
a spot opened up for one of the classes that I want to take and it's a pole class but I love to pole dance like that was really my bop like a year or two ago um but then I kind of fell off a little bit um got into like really working out and like lifting weights and stuff yeah I'm gonna take this pole class see what this hit info see what this hit info honestly I just need to do something to just like get my mind like right honestly I need to do something very much something here is the workout set. I think I got this from Shein. Anyway, you will not even believe what just happened to me. So, first of all, my SD card just like told me to shut up and just stop talking. But like I was saying, I went grocery shopping. You ever go grocery shopping and like you realize you have nothing to eat? Like <laughs> nothing is ready to eat. Nothing is like you have to still like cook the things that you bought. And I'm not going to go and buy food. Like I'm going to make food tonight. But it needs to be a quick meal. So I think I'm still going to go to Trader Joe's and get... Like, one of them frozen dinners, cause chop. Yeah, but I took my SD card out because obviously like my SD card was full, so I had to put in a new SD card. I go to get my 128 gigabyte SD card and it's broken. Like I pull it out of the um, SD card reader and it's broken. Like I'm having the worst, like all I know is that it's freaking up from here. Like right now I'm low, but trust. I think something big is coming. Like, I'm being tested to the fullest right now. I don't think y'all even understand. But I have to go. Class is at 6. It's 526. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to sign like a waiver and stuff when I get there. So I'm going to get there early. Ask if I can record and all the things. If not, I'll let you guys know how the class goes. We're going to go to Trader Joe's together. All the things. But let's go. to end the vlog here i did want to share my experience at the pole class it was really nice definitely wasn't for beginners i'm sure that they have like beginner classes available on class pass i'll put their name on the screen um i think it's called fit for pole if you're in like the dc area dc virginia area that's what it was called um but yeah that was definitely not a beginner class so if you're looking for something more beginner i would definitely look at the descriptions I don't need anything beginner, so <laughs> little humble brag. I don't need anything beginner, but if that's what you're looking for, I would definitely like read the descriptions because in the description it says not for beginners. Like this is not a beginner pole class. But I had a good time. Like it was really nice to just to see people like outside of like work, like that frequent a place like that have like camaraderie and all that, all those things. So I'm definitely gonna go back because. It was a really good vibe. Like the lady like remembered my name like instantly. She was saying my name during the class and stuff. She was really helpful. It was a nice class. So tens across the board. The vlog was exciting. But anyway, make sure you subscribe so that way you don't miss out on anything to come. I think this is gonna be the end of the moving moving series. I think the moving series is over. So this is actually a weekly vlog. So welcome to DC Diaries. Um and don't forget to follow me on my TikTok and on my Instagram because it's lit over there too. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.